So the next thing that we're going to look at is uh, installing a plugin. And I would encourage you again, stay in Firefox for this. I've actually ran into some issues installing plugins um, cross browser and it hasn't worked out real well for me. But uh, if I open this in another uh, Mozilla tab, um, for instance, I'm going to go to tiddlymap.org. Tiddly, uh, Tiddly Map is an amazing plugin for Tiddly Wiki that I, I would encourage everybody to use. Um, if you haven't worked with My Maps before, there's a lot of great logistical reasons why you would want to start using um, Mind Maps. It's just a fantastic way for you to track your data. And uh, what this software does is it allows you to. Um, you know, it it'll actually allows you to uh, uh, to create tiddlers, but link them together in a visual representation. Uh, really great stuff. So and that's uh, Jeremy Reston, the the creator of uh, Tilly Week, one of the creators. Um, go small. Hmm. Usually, when I click. Um, Oh, there it is. I was clicking on the wrong one. Any case, um, you know, I'm I haven't used Tiddly Map a lot yet, but uh, again, I'm you know I've only been a couple of weeks into Tiddly Wiki, and uh, you know there's just so much to learn and do in this. Uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, uh, hopefully this will give you the foundation to you know to to really get a jump start because um, it's a lot to take in. But in any case, what I'm going to do to install this nice little feature in my wiki. Uh, I'm going to create a new window here just so that I can click and drag. But I'm going to uh, go to the installation instructions under Tilly Map. It's at uh, first Tiddly and it's a link to installation instructions and I'll open this up and there will be four links here. You want to click and drag these links into your Tiddler and or into your Tiddly Wiki, and that's uh, w what you're going to use. What these are are references to JavaScript, and uh, when you go to import them, you're actually importing JavaScript into your file and extending the functionality of your Wiki. So I'm going to click and drag in all four of these URLs. You can see that it's made reference here. And again, I would encourage you to use uh, Firefox for this. I've tried this in other browsers like Safari and I've ran into the same issues. Another thing to keep in mind is that you need to have some notes opened up. So at least open up one note before you click and drag over. I've ran into some issues with that too. Um, also, um, when you're importing this particular one, because there are four items that are part of the, all of the code, I would encourage you to actually click and drag all four over, import them in, and before you save them, before you uh, you know save and refresh uh, your wiki, this there's a save button and a refresh button. Before you do that, make sure you have all four of these over. I've actually run into issues where I've tried to, you know, save and refresh one one item at a time. It hasn't worked out for me. So drag all four over, import them in with the import button, save, and refresh. And as soon as you refresh, you're going to have a new um, you're going to have a new tab here that is uh, going to give you a nice display of all of your uh, uh, notes, and it's going to show how they've linked together. Remember, I created the tasks here. I've created tasks here and I linked to do and completed the tasks. This is great. So I didn't even start using this and it's already started to assume all that information. Well, this is great, but let's say that I want to, uh, uh, I want to, you know, create a new mind map. Well, that's easy. I don't necessarily need to create a, a, a tiddler and add it to my contents. I can just create one and not attach it to anything. And all the new notes and uh, that I create and attach to this one will be part of its own mind map. So you can have several different mind maps and they're all linked together 
but they don't necessarily have to link to everything else. So let's uh, let's say that I, I created this one. I've created a new one. I go to to the map. Um, you know, let's say that I want to leave this in live view. Another thing that you might want to do, if you click on this, uh, click on the uh, the control panel, go to appearance, go to story view, and change it from classic. Oh. Settings. Well, in story view, there should be a new one. That's live top, but maybe that's changed with the new update. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? I there's there is a lot better video at installing this plugin and showing you how to use it. I'm this the main function of uh, what this video is to just show you. Uh, generally, how you install plugins in general in TotillyWiki. This isn't necessarily a uh, a know-all of this particular um, um, uh, Tiddly uh, map. Um, you know, this is just a you know, overall view of how you install a plugin. But in any case, um, you see that um, I usually throw that in the live view. And if I click on this, let me sh close everything on a new tab. It's a new one. Huh. I don't know. I'm going to go, maybe I'll switch these back. There it is. I just switched those back. Now I'm in live view. Now I only have one tiddler open. And if I go to create new tiddlers, um, they'll attach to each other. Or I can just use this interface and create new tiddlers with an attachment, like a normal mind, mind, uh, mind map software. So this is an extremely cool plugin. Uh, in the link, uh, I will, um, you know, in the... Um, in the description of this uh, of this YouTube video, I'll uh, leave a uh, a link to uh, a better video that gives you a more in depth information about uh, Tiddly Map and its functionality. But it's it's just a great plugin. But I hope that helps you to understand, you know, uh, what you're doing when you're installing a plugin and how that works.